Hi everyone, my name is Erin Amar, and I'm gonna tell you about why to use an accelerometer. So why send an accelerometer to the moon? Well, accelerometers were a part of the Apollo science missions to collect time varying seismic data across the lunar surface. The accelerometer can detect moonquakes, micrometeor impacts, lander activity, and it can also tell us about the orientation, whether it's face up, face down, based off the data output we see on our serial monitors. So a little information about moonquakes and the background behind them. So the moon is active and there are moonquakes. There are three different types of moonquakes. There's deep moonquakes, thermal moonquakes, and there's also shallow moonquakes. And deep moonquakes, they range from 70, 700 kilometers below the surface. Thermal moonquakes, due to heating and cooling of the crust over lunar day, they occur. And shallow moonquakes, which are one of the most important ones we'll look into, they occur about 20 to 30 kilometers below the surface. And roughly between 1972 and 1977, there are roughly 28 shallow moonquakes detected, up to 5.5 on the Richter scale. And they can last up to 10 minutes and they can be as short as 20 seconds. So why is it important? Well, we wanna understand the interior of the moon and this can help with that. And also impact on human exploration for habitats. So a little information behind on meteor impacts, micrometeorites impact the moon, just like on Earth, they also hit the moon. And from 2009 to 2016, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter found over 200 impacts on the moon with crater diameters in range of 10 to 140 feet in diameter, which is roughly three to 43 meters. They're important to study for human exploration. And they also provide a better understanding of the amount of micrometeor impacts which will lead to a better understanding of the evolution of the moon. As for lander activity, the lander will have controls and instruments that will create vibrations on the surface of the moon. We'll also ping due to thermal expansion and contraction. With the accelerometer, depending on the size of the vibrations, they could potentially be measured by the lunasat. This could help future landers better understand how they operate on the moon. So in summary, the accelerometer can measure moon quakes, micrometeor impacts, lander activity, and tell us the lunasat orientation. Overall, the accelerometer will provide more information on the moon's interior, lead to better development for future landers, and improve potential human habitats.